Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, I feel like there's something missing. CBS is an 11.7% barrel-aged stout from Founders Brewing Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. This year, Founders decided to go with six barrel-age releases for the year. CBS is the sixth and final. It is a maple bourbon barrel-aged version of Founders Breakfast Stout, just as KBS is the bourbon barrel-aged version of that same stout. CBS might look a little bit familiar because it was also the fifth release of Founders 2017 barrel-age series after a six year absence. But in 2017, this label differs a little bit from the 2018 labels because this time around, the Mountie is missing from his horse out of respect for the Canadian Mounted Police. The differences don't end there either because last year this was relatively hard to find. I had to buy tickets to get it. And this year it's just about everywhere I've looked. It's an ample supply. Um, it kind of makes you wonder if how limited this actually is because I've actually seen last year's, the 2017 version, show up on shelves a lot recently, right up until the day that this was released. And to be honest, it kind of feels like Founders is playing us a little bit for this whole barrel-aged uh, limited release stuff. As you can see, I also have the 2017 bottle here, but I'm not going to be testing them side by side because I've heard over time that the maple flavor in these really just kind of drops off. Uh, and I feel like that comparison wouldn't really be apples to apples at this point. And with all that being said, I'm going to take a look at the label. We're going to open this one up and we're going to jump into the CBS. So fun fact, horses can't vomit, but 11.6%, you might be close if you drink all of this. Also, I picked this up at the Detroit Tap Room uh, a few weeks back. It was $25. I got this glass as well. I believe it was a $10 glass. I've seen it, like I said, I've seen it all over the place from as low as $24, as high as $27. I think that with this year's supply though, you can probably shop around if you really wanted to, to get a great deal on all this. So like I said, let's take a look at the label here really quick. Uh, again, this year the horse is has less, left the stable. There is no rider, the Mountie is gone. It is, uh, just like last year's though, the embossing around the side is red. It has a Barrel Age Series logo, red embossed on it. says product of the US. Uh, CBS, Imperial Stout, brewed with chocolate and coffee, aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels. And this one, um, it's a little bit different again from the other releases because those have, the, the Barrel Age releases have the date stamped on it. There's like a back label that tells a little bit more about the beer. This one doesn't have that. It just has the, the description. Imperial Stout brewed with chocolate and coffee, like I mentioned before. The bottle date is stamped on this. And in the good old US of A, you can only get this in bombers in 22 ounce bottles. In Canada, <laughs> Canadian Breakfast Stout, you can actually get them in uh, small bottles, 16 ounce bottles. Why they don't do that here, uh, I don't know. And I always feel reluctant to open one of these because this is kind of a beer that you wanna share. And I'm here by myself. I'm opening the 750 milliliter bottle, or 22 ounce bottle, 750 milliliters, and I'm just gonna be the only one drinking it, but as usual for all the Barrel Age Series beers, it has this gold cap on the inside, it says Barrel Age Series. I don't have the best sense of smell right now because I'm just getting over a pretty bad cold, but I do smell bourbon It's like as soon as I open this, and it smells sweet. I get a little bit of a maple scent as well. Yeah, I'm getting out of the bottle, real nice mix of maple syrup, Bourbon barrel, I'm sorry, bourbon. It smells a little uh, chocolatey though as well, so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this. I haven't had this yet. Again, I picked this up a few weeks ago. I've been sick, so I haven't had a chance to try it. This is my first try of the 2018 version. Again, on the bottle, it has the 2018 year right on it. And that is a thick beer. Coming out of the bottle, it is super dark. Holding up to the light, Again, super dark. This is like a brownish cola color. The head is very dark, coffee-colored head. Uh, a lot of big kind of large bubbles, but a lot of compact ones as well. I'm looking forward to getting a better sniff out of this right out of the glass, though. Yeah, I'm picking up, I'm actually picking up a lot more on the chocolate out of the, out of the glass here. Uh, I, I didn't pick up, I picked up on a little bit on it faintly out of the bottle. Again, my sense of smell just came back a few days ago, but it's really testing it right now. I'm getting 
a tiny bit of bourbon, but a lot of coffee, uh, a lot of chocolate out of it. So I'm get, getting really everything I think that they expect you to get. I'm getting a slight less bourbon scent out of it than I was getting out of the bottle. Again, I'm getting a lot of chocolate, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of bourbon, a little bit of maple. So it's hitting all the notes on the smell department. So I'm ready to dive right in. Cheers. The mouth feels very thick, very heavy, but it's not, it's not too thick actually. It's it's just thick enough. It's not syrupy. It feels kind of syrupy when, when you get it in your mouth, but when you swallow it, it just kind of, it fades away. It's really easy drinking. It's not super thick. It's not super heavy, but at first, that first like blanch mouthfeel taste, the first, first impression seemed really heavy. So, Right off the bat, it's very sweet up front. Almost has like this cola kind of sweetness to it. So it's really sweet up front, a lot of the maple taste. As I swallow that that sweetness, you know, mixed with the bourbon, maple and bourbon kind of taste, gives away a little bit. And that's where I start to get uh, more of that chocolate, more of that coffee. It's not super strong on the coffee and chocolate front, But yeah, up front, getting a lot of maple, getting a lot of the bourbon taste, and then it kind of fades into this chocolatey, uh, it's still it's sweet chocolate, it's not dark chocolate, it's not bitter chocolate like I would expect it to be. And then I think on the aftertaste is where that, that real slight coffee taste comes into play. There's not a lot of it though, it's not very thick, it's not a really strong coffee taste, it just kind of sits in the aftertaste a little bit. Yeah, it's really interesting. I don't remember if 2017 tasted quite like this. This seems really sweet. And I know that, you know, again, I went back and said the whole thing about the supply and demand, right? So, you know, founders increases their capacity, their brewing capacity, they increase their, their barrel system, right? So they have a lot more barrels to play with. And some people say, why is this coming out a year after the last one when it took so long before? I think just that the barrels are kind of hard to procure and that founders has kind of gotten to that groove. But with this showing up everywhere in years past, it would show up and you'd have to get tickets. You know, I had to get, get tickets last year. I got tickets this year. I got a bag and some other goodies, um, but it was all over the shelves. That same day that it was released at the tap room, you could pick it up in grocery stores. I saw it in Royal Oak. I saw it in a few uh, bottle shops that I visit in ample supply. It wasn't like it was hard to get this year. And that's just a little disappointing. If I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna spend $50 for two bottles and get tickets and go down to the tap room in Detroit and you know make you know a little bit of an event out of it, and then I just see it everywhere else and it's actually cheaper than what I picked it up as, yeah, I didn't get the bag if I would've went to the grocery store, but in the grand scheme of things, what am I gonna do with a bag you know, after I buy this stuff? So it's a little disappointing that it's everywhere, it's not so limited, so it's like a plus, it's, it's, I can see it from both sides. It's 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 cool that anybody can go and get it. It's not that hard to get, but it's also a little bit of me is disappointed because I I went through the trouble to get tickets and it, and went and picked it up and then it wasn't hard to get. So overall, it's a good beer. I'm not blown away away by it. It's really sweet up front this year. And again, I don't remember last year's being this sweet. I can't remember. I've had so many beers since last year when I had. CBS, it's hard to kind of gauge it like that, but you know, um, if you can find it on the shelves, I think you should pick it up. I still think it's a good beer, but I'm not as blown away by it as I was last year's. I thought last year's was better. This is really sweet up front. It's kind of like Curmudgeon's uh, Better Half was kind of really sweet up front, uh, but that kind of worked out a little bit better because of the style that it is with the stout. You're not, I'm not really getting a lot of the coffee taste again. I'm just getting over a pretty bad cold, and you might be able to hear it in my voice. Uh, so, you know, maybe it's me, but I'm just not picking up on a lot of the coffee. I'm getting a lot of kind of a cola sweetness up front with and, and a little bit of the bourbon, a l not as much bourbon as I would have expected, a lot of the maple flavor and then chocolate, like a sweeter chocolate on the swallow. And then the finish is where I get a little bit of coffee, but I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of a dark chocolate and a little bit more of a roasty kind of coffee taste, which I'm not getting. 
not getting out of this one. I'm a tad disappointed, but again, the good thing is, is that it's available all over the place. If you wanna try it this year, it shouldn't be very difficult. Uh, I know that I'm putting this review out a little bit late, a little later than I would have liked to, but I still think you're gonna be able to find this on the shelves. I've been able to find some of the, like Dankwood I've still been able to find. I've still been able to find some uh, Barrel Runner. So some of the Barrel Age series stuff is still out there. If you CBS, if you see CBS and, and you think it's worth $25, I wouldn't pay more than 25 for a bomber. But if it's something that you want to try that you haven't tried already, I would suggest you go out and get it. It is a good beer, but it doesn't hit all the points that I would have liked to have seen. All right, friends, that has been CBS, Founders' final release in their 2018 Barrel Age series. Don't be too sad, though. I'm sure that 2019 Barrel Age series is right around the corner. So if you had this beer, what do you think? Do you have any opinions on this year versus last year or the whole Founders limited release kind of series they have going on. Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm here talking Michigan beer twice a week. And the best part about it is it's absolutely free to viewers just like you. You can also find links to my social media, some merch, and my blog at drafttherapy.com. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.